on the road again. So we're headed up to that, back up to the Wilson Creek wilderness area where we had done, well, where we did Harper's Creek. Um, probably three weeks ago, I guess. So, um, this time we're going to a different area of the wilderness creek, wilderness area, and we're going to do the Lost Cove Loop. I think it's like seven and a half miles or almost eight. Um, there's like one or two waterfalls. There's ten stream crossings from what I read. So, we'll see how today goes. But we're meeting up with a couple of friends and uh, see what this day hike's all about. Um, there is a camping options along this trail, so I'll try to film those along with the mileage points and stuff. But, uh, meantime, we got an hour and a half to get there. So I parked in here, but I think, anyway, if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, there is park, looks like there's not be parking over there. I couldn't really tell, cause like, all I saw was the car pull it in. So yeah, I may end up moving. And it's gorgeous though. Alright, so I walked it across the bridge. Okay, that's a campsite. Still in the water. I don't know. So you can kind of see where I'm parked over there. I just was coming over here to see where the trail was at. So I don't know if this is actually, I'm assuming that over there is the parking area because all this over here looks like camping. This looks like there's a fire ring. Probably there's some over there. And I think this is our trail. I don't know, I don't have my phone with me, but. Man, it just looks like people just drive off over in here and just camp. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's our trail right there. It's 460. 464. Anyway, we'll go back to the car and get our day pack because I don't see a place to park really over here for day hiking. So, anyway, I'll show you all the way once we get on the trail. But I would definitely recommend parking where we parked over there because, like I say, you can see there's not really... A ton of space over here to park. Yeah, you can see you cross the bridge and there's this big parking area on the right. And then For it. Yeah, I don't think he <laughs> took he offense at all. <laughs> yeah, hey, people, you doing the ghost training? No, I quit all my freelancing. So that's it's a completely <laughs> like it's not a linear change. Sixty-four. So the ego in me was like, and uh, you're opening the page. 
Yeah, because it's, it's a loop. That's how we come up. Oh, here's a campsite. It is 0.75. Yeah. And I definitely don't want him to be entertained. Yeah, our patio, the patio there. Wow. I want to see that today. Yeah. Yeah. So, 1.05, there's a campsite right over there under that cliff. You should not tell. At about 1.3. There's been a fire here. There's a campsite over here. Oh yeah, that's a little fiery. You got some hammock hanging options. Looks like that tree there might be dead, but pretty nice. Probably set a tent here. Or maybe back there. Probably there, but you're gonna mount a down slope. Anyway, pretty cool. Especially up here on this ridge with the breeze. Looks like you'd probably camp in there. That's a 2.23. Well, 2.26. Looks like there's a path. I'm just kind of curious if it's another campsite or if it's Cause all the other paths have been to a campsite. Mm. No, this, I don't think so. Uh, I think this is just like a bathroom trail. I mean, you probably camp like right here. But yeah, the trail just kind of ends right here. 
But I mean, you can always set up a tent, like clean out and set up right here. So it's like 2.28. I wonder if people camp up here because there's, you feel more of the breeze right here because you're on top. like a campsite so this is at 2.43 directly across the street and then, to the and then so then that's when I got my drafting design degree and that only took me like a year to get because I had all the other courses but um find it like you just you know you go so this is at 2.66 not worth it. Mm. Yeah, that sounds like executive functioning. He's not just good at doing like... I was like, how on earth can I get... It looks like there's some flower blooms down there. Yeah. So, oh yeah, that's... Yeah, she has like a good job. And just know like, this is what I'm good at. So, I can... That's I can do. I'm saying it to myself. Uh, I was kind of annoyed by it. Like, what? Whatever it was. Oh, wow, look at this campsite. So this is at 3.29. Yeah, check it out. Oh, there's a bunch of like little campsites in here. There's no fire ring in this one though. Oh, it's like a fly trap. Looks like. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's like an orienteering thing. Huh. That's interesting. That is here. It's like another more campsite. This definitely seems like a buggier area though. But you could definitely set a tent right in here. Over there too. So then here's another campsite. But I don't know. The trees look okay. I'm trying to figure out. I guess all this dead wood is from these trees. No fire ring though. All the great firewood, but no fire ring. Kind of makes a loop. So you walk up that way, there's a campsite there on the left. Then you walk over this way, there's a campsite back in there. Then there's this one here. And then you just kind of loop back around. Alright, so there's one, this one big dead tree. So I don't know if I would camp maybe over there. I'm thinking you were going to be buying a house and you thought. Oh, okay. no. So, you know, that's wrong. Two miles, it's been 3.36. It really will be. Crystal said that there's like, for the first time, that's swift, too. It's kind of deep. Alright, well we're just going to make do with it. No, this ain't the time for stick, though. Pull that water. Ice cold. Ice cold. Ice cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow.
So in this crossing is at 3.38 or 3.367. It really is. I think it goes this way. I think. Oh, it's right there. What is it? Oh wow! It's a little the campsite, three point four, high above the creek. Nice fire ring. No dead trees. Definitely tent friendly. It's really nice. And the, the path, like the way it really makes you fall fast. Yeah. Oh, fly fishing only. <laughs> Lost, you know. I wonder what this is like in spring with like wildflowers and stuff. So here's a campsite, 3.88. That one leaning tree is all right over there. I don't see any dead trees. Yeah, some trees to sit on for benches. Got a super nice fire pit. Sounds like the water's close by. Pretty cool. Uh, looks like you could probably set up a tent. I guess right here. I'm gonna be over in there. Maybe right there. Mm. Or set up a hammock between that tree and that tree. did that last year and I was like I can't imagine 0.45 no trees to hang from but you could definitely tent here soft ground nice fire ring there's poison in there oh I think those are the ones that expand. So it looks like this used to be a fire like sot thing. 4.58. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Go get it! <laughs> Ready? She's like, it was here, it was just here. Good girl. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're too cute. I can feel cold air from it. 
feels so good. This is just gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. This is it. Open it up. So that was around 4.6. Look how big this mushroom is. Oh, weird. Oh, okay. Whoa, big hamburger bun. Oh, golly. Better web? Yeah. Yeah. So around 4.95 you cross the stream because if you go this way it just dead ends. So but you cross the trail up there somewhere. Oh, that's another one of those bugs. Yeah, they are spooky. Oh wait, there is a killer campsite. Nice solid trees, from what I can tell. Plenty of room for a hammock or a tent, either one. Definitely tent friendly right there. Yeah, isn't it though? It's the tent there, set a tent there. Yeah, this is a big spot there. I'll set one there. And then you got this water access. Uh, you know? Oh, isn't it odd to see something man made out here? I wonder if that was like maybe this was like a logging area or something. This has been a really nice trail. A lot of spider webs though. Hi Sarah. Yeah.
So 5.41 right over in there. There's some people camping. Looks like a pretty good spot. Obviously it's hammock friendly. Alright, and here's a campsite. So it's at 5.52. kind of on a hill and it looks like a tree has fell so I don't know if I would really and these trees don't look the bad like this tree here looks kind of dead so I don't know if I would stay here and that tree over there is dead but it's an option I mean you could probably hammock camp here maybe maybe I don't know personally I think I would skip this one just because it's on a hill not really solid trees, all that fun stuff. So, well, I'll keep going down the trail. Oh, now here's a good campsite. So this is at 5.54. Golly, now that's my kind of fire. Oh, uh, seemingly a lot of kind of dead trees though, but there's none of these trees look especially great but, I mean like you definitely only like, set a tent right in here pretty nice I don't know if I'd set up over there because that's a dead tree though but definitely a nice fire pit and at least it's flat so you could actually set up a tent I don't think I don't know if you could get a hammock in there or not but definitely tent friendly Oh, back in there's a campsite. It's at 5.58. I'm gonna go up here and film this campsite real quick. Oh yeah, this is a nice little site. Dead tree there. So if you just want to hang a hammock, probably hang from that tree to over here probably be the same place you would set up a tent because the rest of this is on a slope but you got a nice fire pit This kind of gets deep, you can see. She's trying to find another way around. Easy peasy. Yeah, it's not bad. Easy peasy. Thanks for the navigation. Oh, look at this campsite. Oh, this is super nice. Where is the trail? I guess the trail six three just across the stream. There's this campsite with a nice fire ring. Definitely a good tent spot. Looks like maybe people are going up there. Oh, it's so pretty. So I guess this is Hunt Fish Falls. <laughs>
So we're leaving this with 5.67. Let's go south. Point seven two. There's like a split. Like this truck goes that way, but we're gonna try going left first. All right, let's go. Saw a white one on it. I think I think the trail split right. But I'm gonna yeah. go down. Go ahead and walk down here since we've already. Cause I kind of want to see what this campsite looks so we like. We already passed the split. We definitely don't take the split here. Go ahead if you want to. I think it was just right up there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, jeez. Go, go, Sal. I'm in my way. Oh, well, we got a nice little spot there. So, here. Golly. What kind of fire ring is that? But I don't see where you would camp. Unless you just, like, set up in this like gap thing. But you have a killer spot to play in the water. So this is at 5.74. So I think this is just the campsite. I don't think this is a trail. This is an asshole camp spot though. definitely going back up but you could definitely set a tent in here for sure and I don't really see a place to hammock camp but definitely tent okay. so that just goes down to that campsite so now we're back on the main trail at 5.78 Let's go, sir. Man, it's such a pretty day. Some high clouds. Like where they thin it out. Yeah, and yeah. it's like hundreds of birds. Oh wow, then it is. Yeah, that looks like a campsite. I'm not going down that hill. But it's 6.09. It looks like it would be a tent-friendly site. I don't see any tent. ton of dead trees, so it'd probably be safe. I mean, barring a flash lot flood, but it looks nice and soft down there in the sand. I don't see a fire ring. Not yet. But it's a really pretty spot. There's some, some really nice campsites in this area. Definitely chill this side of the, this end of the trail gets a little more traffic. It's a little wider. A little more used. This is gorgeous, but there's some dead trees here. And this is 6.15. Mm -hmm. 
So this is definitely a nice campsite here. Got a fire ring. It looks like you got several. But I say there's a lot of dead trees here, I think. I mean, this is nice because it's flat. You know, a lot of space, but you've got a crap ton of dead trees and they're leaning. And we already know what happens with leaning trees. They fall. But anyway. Hey, see, so I mean, you can see, like, there's, we were over there, but there's, like, fire in there, there's fire ring out through there, but just surrounded by dead trees. So, with this one, I would definitely say camp at your own risk. That's like about 6.18, 6.2. And you see, it's a pretty large area in here that got camping but oh and also we're now coinciding with the MST again I think it was back there at that one waterfall the MST comes down Hunt Fish Falls Trail which I don't even I didn't even see where that junction was but anyway um yeah so so the MST comes down that and it goes around this way. I think we're on the MST for the rest of the time. That kind of felt good. You don't realize just how hot your feet are until you get back in the water. So this here was probably a good campsite at one time, but it's just surrounded by dead trees. As you can see, there's a fire pit there. I mean, it's a gorgeous spot. But it's 6.36. So at 6.43, we are at this junction with 261 Timber Ridge Trail, which goes up that way. Um, but we're going to keep straight and start crisscrossing the stream, I believe. But we'll see. Gorgeous stream, though. This is a lovely campsite at 6.54 right here beside this stream. I don't see a lot of dead trees. Definitely tent friendly. I don't know about hammock friendly. But man, we're just a little spot. See that campsite? I mean, uh, that that tree right there is dead. Man, it's just a gorgeous little spot down here. This rock outcropping is at 6.56.
So this is at 6.7. Okay. Um. Oh wow, over oh, there's a mass can't fight. I don't know how you get down there. I did the trail circles back around, but that's around the 6.9 mark if you can cross this, figure out a way to get over there. Oh man, it feels okay. I mean, it definitely feels tight. We'll lift that and carry it. So I had the love for it to kind of push it. And You know the old saying, uh, time flies when you're having fun. Apparently I'm having a lot of fun. I thought it was like 12. <laughs> I just checked my watch. It's like after three. Crazy. But, man, it's gorgeous. Seven point two five. I want to go down to Greg Pond, Greg Pong Falls. Hopefully, let's we'll see. Oh wow! This isn't as far down as I'm gonna go. It's gorgeous. So pretty. But this rock is so slippery. So if you come down, just be aware that this is like hardly any grip. We'll go this way. It. There's like a red rope where you can get down to the base of the waterfall if you want to risk that. So, I don't know what that show is. So it don't show that there's a trail there. Oh, maybe that's where we were coming down. Okay. Um, the goofball. Yeah, so that trail there is how you came down and then you go down that way to go to the waterfall and stuff. My silly goose. I think this is like a side trail. I don't know that I can't see a trail down. There's people all down there. Down there. Look that little viewpoint there is. 
Xem mạng thôi gì So down there is a nice campsite at 7.53. Nice little cascade up there. I think that'd be more tent friendly, but looks kind of uncomfortable. It looks kind of rocky. Wow, that's really pretty. Nice big rock slab. Gorgeous. They got the spot. Yeah. Just need a little bit of shade. I mean, it's in there, but not for oh, yeah. I've been to Maine, oh. but I never hiked or camped there, but I just feel like it's this is a really pretty campsite. Yeah. 7.65. It's so pretty. So at 7.69, we realized we were off the trail because at that camp, last campsite I showed, we were supposed to cross the stream. Yeah, they're down there crossing. So, kind of from this direction, it's right here. I don't, it could probably just because there's a path going straight and we're like, oh, straight. Oh, this is so pretty. I was thinking that my hope was, I mean, it's literally like five inches from your face. Come here, Sal. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on, Sal. Have a good one. Agile. Oh, look at this big old slug. Ooh. Nice. Cruising. Cruising. Oh, yeah. There were people all around us. We found them were talking to us. We were happy. The crazies out there. Or, um, really? Dramas. There's a campsite. No. I keep hanging up in there. But I mean, it's 2 1. That was the email river system. Check it out! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so nice. Yeah. And you're like, you, you think you got a new life. Yeah. Yeah, difference. Oh, no, they're like cramping. Like my, my thighs are oh, oh. like my. Oh, that's a nice little campsite there. So oh, that's a 8.4. Oh, that's nice. 
definitely hammock or tent there. Sight, it's small. 8.53. Okay, so we're not far from the parking lot then. Yeah, I see that. Kind of rainy. And then one time. Yeah. So, it's like. This is at 8.76. Looks like that's at the end of that campsite or that parking lot where we're at. To complete the loop, it's 8.8. You're here already? Yeah, this is where we started this morning. We're at the car right now? Yeah. Oh no, I should have taken that in more. Where did we go in? Right here. Like, we went, we, we started right over there. Right there, yeah. Right here. Yeah. yeah. That's a stab. <laughs> I, that, I don't like that. You want to mentally prepare. Yeah. That's just a little Yeah. I knew we were close. I have 9.9. .9. Yeah, I've got 8.8. .8. I don't know. I'm gonna see it, like how it tracked to see if it yeah. like messed up anywhere. Just all three of us will get by. Right. Yeah. But that's it. We did it. Yeah. See y'all next time.